what's up y'all it's your man Alex and I am up late at night past midnight uh, just watching YouTube videos and I had this thought pop into my brain I don't know where it came from but I had this thought that was like you should try to find that little psycho trailer uh, that was on the Bride of Frankenstein VHS tape that your dad used to watch all the time when you was little. Uh, I don't know where that came from, but um, when I was really young, uh, my dad used to watch Bride of Frankenstein a lot. He used to watch all those universal horror movies a lot, but the Bride of Frankenstein was one that uh, was one of my favorites back then. And uh, at the beginning of the movie, uh, had this, uh, this, it was a trailer, I guess it's a trailer, but it was, it's, uh, I got it waiting right here. It's, it's six minutes and 30 seconds long, and it had Alfred Hitchcock, uh, giving a little tour of the Bates Motel, and, uh, I thought it was creepy, but I liked it, and I don't know, I just, for some reason, I just wanted wanted to see this, and it's been it's been a long time since I've watched this. I mean, seriously, like the early '80s since I've watched this, uh, early to mid '80s since I've watched this little trailer, and I thought, you know, I should watch it now and pull out the camera and do like a reaction uh, video to it. I mean, I I'm pretty sure I have all those nostalgia uh, feelings you know come over me when I started watching this but I, I thought that this might make a, a little uh, a little cool video so I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this and record my reaction and since it's six minutes and 30 seconds long I'll probably do some editing and you know do some little cross fades and stuff so it won't be that long but uh uh here we go this it's been seriously it's been like what the early age of VHS tapes since I've seen this I don't know it's, it's been I haven't watched this and it's been psh, close to 30 years probably but uh alright here we go <laughs> oh good afternoon here we have a quiet little motel. Man, it's been forever since I watched this. Highway. And as you see, perfectly harmless looking. When in fact, it has now become known as the scene of a crime. The scene of a crime. Duh. I still this remember it. also has, as an adjunct, an old house, which is, if I may say so, a little more sinister looking, less innocent than the motel itself. And in this house, the most dire, horrible events took place. Man, this is, oh my goodness, so many memories. Oh, I don't know who's going to buy it now. Let's go inside. That music. Man. Oh my goodness. You see, even in daylight, this place still looks a bit sinister. Man, this made me think about my childhood, man. That's weird. That's something weird. Psycho. Psycho reminds me of my, my childhood, but man. Of course, in a flash, there was the night, and in no time. Fell with a horrible crack. I think my back broke immediately and hit the floor. It, it's difficult to describe the way that. <laughs> oh. Man, I was just. Man, it was me. I was just having memories of me and my yeah, uncle sitting there watching this movie on the couch. Still beautifully preserved. Man, 
I remember it after so many years. Behind his office in the motel. Well, see, Psycho is a movie that I really haven't even seen that many times. I think I'm probably seeing Psycho like maybe twice. I've seen this thing, I've seen this way more times than Psycho. And like I said, I haven't seen this since like early to mid 80s. It's been so long. I suppose you'd call this his hide. I'm sorry, I'm like going crazy right now. Very serious. This part right here. I always thought this part was freaky. And, uh,. <laughs> oh, geez. oh man, that's. Uh, I hope I don't get a copyright thing because of the music, but uh. uh I really hope I don't get a copyright thing for that, but uh. Oh my goodness, man, I haven't watched that in forever. Man, that junk remind me of just watching The Bride of Frankenstein uh, with my dad back in the day when I was little. You know, like I said, this was a trailer that used to be on uh, before the movie. And I, I remember that the case and everything, he had made he had made his own case for The Bride of Frankenstein. It was brown and he drew a little picture on it and everything. And, and I don't know, but... Uh, Dad, I hope you watch this video. Uh, uh, it's your fault that I have all these memories. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to check out what I just watched, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description or I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But, uh, uh, so many memories, man. Nostalgia. I love that feeling though, man. I love that feeling of seeing something or hearing a piece of music or something and it just reminds you of something like it just, it's like some some type of time traveling mechanism that just takes your mind or, or takes you back in time when you, you feel, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody that experienced it, I hope they have because it's a, a pretty good feeling. Even though sometimes it can be sad because you just want to go back to that time. But uh, anyway, uh, but that's that. So uh, I'm going to leave you all alone. So y'all go back to doing what you're doing. Peace out. Can you say an 80s slasher? <laughs>